Greetings, my friends. Those of you who know me know that I'm not afraid to wade deep into the most controversial topics that most people avoid because they're afraid of being called racist. Those who don't know me, I grew up in a neighborhood <coughs> that was about 1% white. So I understand racism 100%. I understand the black man and the black woman's plight. I understand fully. I grew up and spent my entire youth up until my late high school years in that environment. With that said, I'm going to talk about this new Oscar stink. You know where this whole thing started from? It started with Barack Hussein Obama, who promised to make us a nation that is racially healed. What he has done is made things worse now than any time since the Jim Crow days. I call these the days of Obama Crow. He's brought in reverse racism into the picture. And let me let me break it down for you. I don't watch movies at, at theaters hardly at all. Don't like them because they're too, most of them are too violent and nasty and the language is bad. Don't like messing with them. And so the Oscars is not a big thing for me. But this whole Oscars mess is hilarious. It really is. Obama has, the, the black man and black woman, or the black folk, he likes to use the word folk, have bought in to his whole thing, hook, line, and sinker, his, the Reverend Al Sharpton, and all the rest of the crew that come out and just start racial tensions and hatred. And now you've got so many of the black folk who are actors. I, I love using the folk term. That's Obama's favorite uh, term. You ever notice that? He calls everybody folk. The black folk aren't going to the Oscars now. They're boycotting. Let me ask you a question. I did some research. About 85% of actors and actresses in Hollywood, I call it, it's Hollywood, I call it Hollywood, are white. Let me, let's go ahead and get something on a pretty good parallel to the movie actors, shall we? Let's go to the NBA. <laughs> the NBA, 85%, just like 85% in movies, but it's flip-flopped. 85% of the NBA players are black. But 95% of people that buy tickets to the NBA games are white. Do you hear the white people, or the white folk? Do you hear the white folk coming out and boycotting the NBA because it's too black? No, you don't. You know why? Because white people, for the most part, I'm not talking about the extreme nut jobs like the KKK and all of them. I'm talking about regular standard white folk like myself have enough common sense to know it doesn't make any difference the color what the color of your skin is. It doesn't make any difference. What matters is who is the best at what you do. If you're the best basketball players in the world and most of you are black, hey, the black folk win. They get the jobs. If you are an actor or an actress and you are black and you're the best, you win the Oscar. So many great black folk have won the Oscar in the past. Just like so many great white folk have won it in the past. What the Oscars is, is a place where, it's not a place where everybody gets equal time because of the color of your skin. It's a thing where the best in film get honored. Whether you're black, white, Hispanic, Asian, Puerto Rican, Cuban, doesn't matter what you are. You win the award if you're the best. The NBA, you are an NBA basketball superstar if you're the best in the game no matter what color your skin is. So if you want to keep on buying into it, black folk, you go ahead and keep buying into it. But all you are is selling yourself. You're selling your souls. Don't believe the hype, my friends. It's a sequel. You're buying into the j j, -j, -j talking, telling you lies. Understand the truth. Think for yourself. Stop listening to everybody else and start using some common sense and stop trying to play the race card all the time. I feel horrible about what happened to the slaves. I really do. But you know who started the whole slavery thing? Blacks are the ones who started selling black slaves. Should white people have gotten white slaves too? Does that make it right? No, it doesn't. It was a terrible thing. I feel horrible about that. But no one alive right now has anything to do with any of that. We can't change that. All we can do now is try to do what Obama promised to do, but lied like he does everything else. And try to heal this once great nation's racial divide. It's sickening to me. I get so tired of it. And I'm not going to sit back. I've been commenting on the blogs. But I needed to put a video out because I was sick and tired of seeing it, and I will not sit quietly. This is a Christian ministry. If you've never been saved or you're a backslider, I've got a prayer and six vital next steps in the box below the video. Pray that prayer. Do those steps as soon as possible. If you'd like me to pray for you for anything, contact me and I will. Let's wake up, my friends, and see what Obama and all of his ilk are trying to do, and let's stop it now.